Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 3 of my Warriors career mode. Now, this episode got two games like normal. The first one is against uh, the Storm, and I think the second one is against Brisbane, if I'm not wrong. Uh, but we'll see at the end of uh, end of this game, obviously. But great start to the season, some convincing wins, particularly against the Eels, I believe it was. Uh, we also beat the Cowboys. Uh, if you want to go back and check out the last episode, or the very first episode was going over transfers and uh, World Club Challenge. And then the second episode was uh, the first few games of the NRL season. And uh, as I've said many times, and during the previous season, which I haven't been able to actually achieve, was going an undefeated season, uh, going the invincible season, uh, which I think is quite achievable. Um, on, this game isn't the most realistic thing, uh, but I think I've put together a pretty solid side. Uh, they've all progressed very well. And yeah, no, I just I just think we've got the team to do it. Elijah Taylor here, great player, progressed very well. Gets it to Josh Hoffman, who we signed from the Broncos a few seasons ago. Simon Menner and gets it off to Harrell, who uh, hasn't been the greatest for us. He's not the best player by any means, but, you know, solid enough. And he's going to go over. He's going to score right here. Just palm off whoever that was, number four, uh, for the Storm. Now, don't get me wrong. This wasn't an easy game by any means as of yet. Anyways, uh, you know, it was pretty even. You see, they, they made some pretty solid runs there. But uh, it was incredible the amount of win there. Sean Jonathan still slotted over from the conversion. Uh, from the sideline, I should say. Uh, but this is where, you know, Storm started to just, you know, destroy themselves, really. You can see it here. Billy Tupo, great player for us. Just run through here. Slater, very, very deep there. Um, yeah, they were the only worst enemy of the Storm at this stage. Did throw an intercept uh, to Junior Sia. Thankfully, they didn't race away, but that was a try going begging there. It just shows, like, we, we had lots of opportunities, just never really uh, got to put the finishing touches on. But a huge hit by Bill Tupo. And uh, Kevin Locke, lots of space here. Just got Billy Slater to beat. And he's going to take him on. He's just got the speed to do it. It's going to race away into the corner. Uh, didn't have enough pace to sort of beat Slater entirely. But enough to just uh, go for the corner and get there. And wrong put him a little bit as well. Now, Sean Johnson to slot it straight over. El Masri like with the curl there. Uh, that was due to the wind, but it doesn't usually happen like that. Also, you can tell like if there's going to be a lot of curl just by the fact that they got such a weird like run-up sort of kick style on those sort of ones. Manu Vatavai to reach the line as well. Same sort of position as Kevin Locke. Uh, probably a little bit easier than uh, Kevin Locke's one. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, a try for Manu Vatavai. And Johnson, can he slot this one like he did the other one? A bit more natural kick and just straight over. So we have it, Sean Johnson, 3 from 3, and we're cruising a victory right here, 57 minutes in, looking for, you know, the finishing touches. Could have been an intercept there, uh, thankfully it wasn't. Just, it's so hard playing this camera angle when you make a break, trying to draw and pass with the fullback. Thankfully, uh, it doesn't really affect us too much. I think it was Mossy Masoy who just went straight through there. And like I said last episode, there is going to be a few Mossy Masoy's and, you know, a few of those sort of players, duplicates. Um, I can't really explain why. I know they're in... Like other competitions like under 20 New South Wales Cup. Yeah, but for some reason there's two of them. So I think there's two Hawkinsons, Keatings, everything. Now they blew a perfect chance there to score. Mossy Missoy is going to pick it up. He's going to uh, get a fair few meters. He's going to get caught eventually. Actually going to throw an intercept. Well, not intercept, but get the vat of I'm going to get thrown over the side. Now what I'm trying to say is we're going to lose the ball. But uh, what I'm trying to was about Mossy. Big Mossy shares a bit of toe on him. Uh, Hoffman, who has a fair bit of toe himself. Makes a bit of a break here. Gets off later away to Masoy, who throws a quick pass to Vatavai. And that's full time up. And Billy Slater makes the tackle pretty pretty easily in the end. But, you know, 24-0. If that was win one take one, we would have got a bonus uh, bonus player. But it's not. And let's take a look at other uh, other winners and losers of uh, round three. Also, we'll be taking a look at the ladder then this episode. I thought there was no point in the first few rounds just to take a look at it. So, uh, I thought I'd wait until this episode to take a look at it. Broncos side, they got Zillman at fullback, uh, Keating at 5'8". Um, apart from that, from a quick little glance, not too much different. Uh, sort of like us, we've got a you know majority of our players are originals. But Josh Hoffman, we did sign from the Broncos, so uh, bringing him in, they've replaced him with Zillman. Not sure who played where last year, but uh, as we had Hoffman last year. But yeah, Zillman, he's there. And I assume he's probably pretty good in this game, based on the fact that you know, back in 2013, he was still half decent. He's still half decent now, but yeah, I think you get what I mean. Johnson with a nice little step there. Got, got around his initially, but then got pulled down. And then we throw an intercept pass there. Thankfully, uh, doesn't race away for a length of field try. Because uh, had we beat that one player, I probably wouldn't have caught him. Josh Hoffman doing some awesome work there. Mentoring's going to get hit high. 
and, you know, we had a few options there, but we decided to go for the try. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy clip compared to some, but uh, Mara just going to jump straight over from dummy half there. Uh, Mentoring was key there with the quick play of the ball and allow Mara to get out nice and quick. But uh, yeah, good stuff there by Mara. And I don't regret letting Nathan Friend go. The only thing is Mara doesn't have the stamina to sort of play the whole game. So what we've been having to do is throw Elijah Taylor in a hooker for, uh, you know, a little bit. And you saw there with Piro going down with a bit of an injury there. And uh, that left us a little bit short, but uh, nothing too major, would say. But um, just like I said, Mara, at this stage of the season, trying to work out the kinks of how I want to play everybody. Uh, can Mara play the whole game? Some games he can, some games he can't. It just depends. Um, who do I want at hooker? Like, uh, like, do I want Ben Henry? Do I put a hooker on the bench? Elijah Taylor, is he adequate enough? I think he is. Uh, Kevin Locke just burns his defender right there, but gets held up there. Probably could have made a dive to the line, but we didn't. Dane Nielsen uses the numbers there. Not really too well, but we end up scoring, thankfully. Uh, but that's another one that could have easily been intercept. Just one of those things this game. Some of the ones you expect to be intercepted don't get intercepted. And then the ones that, you know, should just be a regular pass, they just teleport and just grab it. Johnson misses his first goal of the episode, I think it was anyways. Um, so yeah, 16 nil before half time. Zillman's going to make a bit of a break here. And uh, I'm not too high on Zillman, but he's having a pretty good game so far. But four pass Hodges just kills that play there. Right before half time, we have a chance to just put nail on the coffin here. 16 nil up. Can we make it 20, possibly 22? Sean Johnson for the corner. There's a try. 20 nil. Game, set, match. There ain't no coming back from that. Unless you're the Sharks from last year. A few times they came back from that. But yeah, not going to happen. And Sean Johnson, slots of conversion. Uh, keeping, not a perfect record, but keeping a pretty darn good one. Three from four, a lot of them from the sideline. So, good goal kicking from Sean Johnson. 22 nil at halftime, we'll definitely take that. Moving into the 51st minute here. A pretty shitty kick there, i got to say. And Berryman, I don't know who he is, but he seems to be a pretty regular fixture in all these career modes that I play, no matter what, uh, with the Broncos anyways. Uh, made a pretty good run there, but we're going to get... Intercept there with Jacob Lieberman, the Queensland representative for us anyways. Maybe not in real life, but yeah. Sean Johnson draws and passes. Connor Harrell got to make it to the line. Did have to beat one player, but it was never an issue. Connie Harrell just going to barge over every day of the week. Although I do have to say on this game, not particularly as good as what you would think with barging over. He's nowhere near the level of Bill Tupo and Manu Vadavai. Which, that's a little bit funny in itself saying uh, Bill Tupo, but whatever. Now right here, Chris Keating going to race away here. I think, anyways. I know Bill Tupo is going to catch him, but that intercept there, I didn't want to actually pass it that direction. Uh, I think what happened was is I wanted to pass to Playmaker or something like that, or throw a dummy most likely, and it does that pass to Playmaker and throws a big loopy pass to like 20 meters up the other end. Some very desperate defense here. Unfortunately, it's not really going to pay off as right here. It's going to pass and he's going to dive over before I could even react, but... You know, some pretty last ditch uh, efforts there. Um, showing that we'll play and run up to the end. Unfortunately, Parker sort of just got there. And uh, I think Peter Wallace is the goal kicker here. So, uh, P. Wall, I'm not sure if he's an actual goal kicker, but you know, he's going to slot it over from in front. But that was only a consolation try, as you can see there. 28 6 win. Another flogging on uh, on our behalf. So, uh, great start to the season. Hopefully, we continue on for the rest of the season. I don't know if we can go the distance, but uh, hopefully, we can. You can take a quick look at the ladder. Obviously, we're on top. The ladder's not going to be too important this season because we're going to win it, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hopefully you can leave a like. 20 likes would be awesome. I'm not sure how, if we've been hitting them in the previous episodes, but yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, if you can subscribe to my channel, very much appreciated. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, at MrLukeOnYT. It's a Twitter handle. And uh, I've got a Facebook page in the description below. You can also go and like that as well. So once again, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.